Welcome back, guys. So, in the last one, uh, we entered the Phoenix Cave, where we split into two groups in order to get our way through the whole thing and find Trent. And, uh, you know, he was searching for the Phoenix Esper so he could use it to bring back his girlfriend, Rachel. But unfortunately, the Esper had too many cracks in it and failed to revive her. So, it just stayed as an Esper, and now we have it. So I did end up changing um, his outfit because I guess because I've stolen like 500 plus times, I get the choice of these three. So um, to kind of show you what's going on with them. Um, so there's this ancient armor. Digging the music. I'm loving the yellow and the cape and that his hair is loose as well. Like nothing's covering it. He becomes a knight. And I'm not going to show you the stats just yet because I have another point to make about those. But yeah, the music's really awesome. So let's check out his third one, the Wild Rose Bandana. Okay. This outfit's pretty cool. Also has a cape. And the music's not too bad. And he becomes a returner. So, let's go back to my original. Then this one's still pretty pumping. Okay, so I already created um, save states to make this easier of a explanation. So I think that goes there. <clears throat> okay, yeah, so his original. Um, you see his power is 37, you go to the second one, it becomes 43, and this is with the gear that I'm wearing. And then with the third one, it becomes 45. And then, you know, speed is the highest in this first one, lowest in the second one, and middle in the third. But then you look at stamina, and it goes up as you go through them. So the first one, the second one, the third one, and the magic power does the same thing. So, it could be said that this Returner one, although it does not have as high of speed as, you know, I do right now in regular outfit, Adventurer, has everything else better than the other two. So, I'm gonna actually give this Returner outfit um, a try for a bit and see how that goes. So, let's get that going. Okay, I'm also going to uh, go into Figaro Castle and do the, like, underground events and stuff. <clears throat> so we gotta make this bitch move. Okay, so the stratum's unusually rough. We seem to be catching on something. Let's stop here. Okay, shit is gonna be intense inside here, so let's just see how it goes. I have done this before, just not in this playthrough, I don't think. Wow, what a find! A dragon spear! Ooh, what am I gonna find? A Quirrell, a Devil, and a Figaro Lizard. Ooh, nice shield. Okay. Um, let's just have you... Okay, never mind. I was gonna have you heal, but forget that. I can't fully remember what's doing what here, so let's just try to mug some things. Runic in case there's any crazy spells. Oh, and also, I guess you've already seen, but um, I changed the uh, menu screen again. I figured, you know what, we got Trent back, and we're going to change his outfit. Why not change the screen, too? Or the menu. Stone breath. I don't like the sounds of that. Ooh! Okay, so that could be lethal, but... Uh, Jeez, 
sucked it up. Okay, um, probably just gonna go Runic again, because I can't get hit by that blaster. Ooh, the music's kicking in. Well, that's not really what I wanted to absorb, but it will do. I really need to kill that thing. Um, I also need to get rid of all the stone. Oh, please don't hit her with death. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, no, it hit them all. <laughs> Wow, that's not good. <laughs> Here I am thinking it's gonna be the stone that gets me, but it was that death. Ouch! Oh man, does that mean I'm gonna have to like, take, I'll just try it again, take him out fast, but uh, where was I, I think? Here, there we go. I'll have to take him out fast or run from them. I could switch and put like either Ray's or Mr. E in my group because they can wear the memento ring or just the memento. But uh, I don't really want to do that. I was really excited to bring uh, Trent with me and I kind of didn't want to kick uh, Draga out of my group to get him, but I didn't. So I, I really don't want to replace anybody else because I, I still want to bring Trent. Okay, so let's turbo mode this. Stop here. Okay, let's uh, hope for a better outcome. What a find, a dragon spear. <clears throat> it's probably gonna be the same fight, so I'm just gonna smoke bomb it. Yeah, so it was the Figaro lizard, but I also hate that friggin' uh, stone breath. Oh, don't tell me it's gonna be like, oh yeah, smoke bomb's not gonna work. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. <laughs> so that treasure chest that's up in the top right of the screen that I just passed. Ah, uh, figure a lizard again. You know, I'm gonna try and kill it quickly. Um... That treasure chest, uh, it's got a monster in a box, which I don't remember which one's in there, but I know I'm definitely not ready to kill it. Couldn't steal. Okay, so hopefully these things don't have a death attack, and I'm okay. Oh, I guess these were the figure of lizards. What was that other thing? Music's pretty good. Look at him go. I also gave Trent a dancing blade, um, because it really boosted his, um, speed. But I'm hoping, <clears throat> wasn't expecting that, I'm hoping that, uh, the dancing blade will also trigger when he mugs, and, like, see there I got a random dance, which is awesome. Um, but if it can trigger when he mugs, that would be so awesome, too. Okay, that hit for a lot. This thing can't have that much more health. Ah, there we go. And also, Trent is like six or seven levels behind everybody, so yeah. That's gonna take some time. that and get the antidote so I have her learning Kiraga right now off of Ashura so that's a thing uh, I'm gonna forget the other treasure chest for now there's like a crazy thing in here there it is in the corner 
I think it's Omega. Um, I'm definitely not ready to fight it, but let's go show you what it is. Ugh. Stupid things getting in my way. It's the devil. Okay, so I'm just gonna run because uh, I don't wanna fight them. I wanted to show the other thing, and plus I've got the save state there anyway. Hmm. <clears throat> so I'm just gonna go back to it. Where is it? Oh, I saw the corner of it. Oh, I gotta talk to it. Oh, that's not even it! Ugh, frustration. Okay, where is it? It's not... This isn't what I'm looking for. <laughs> Go figure, I tried to show you guys something cool, and... It went hiding behind the spots I can't see past. I'm just gonna stand here until it pokes its head out somewhere. Probably at the south. The next potion, okay. There it is! Oh, listen to that music! I'm totally just gonna, like, let it kill me, because I want to see what it does, but this thing is... You know, <laughs> Can I bug anything from it? But yeah, it's Omega. Oh, I stole a Mega Elixir. That's kind of cool. Uh! <laughs> Look at that damage that he took, and they're doing such little damage. Mustard Bomb. Holy crap, what's that gonna do? A lot. <laughs> Oh, man. But yeah, you can go and fight Omega. Obviously, you need to be ready for it. Just have my level, so that'll be fun when I'm actually ready to fight him. I'll screw up all my stats. Why doesn't my Bio Blaster look like that? Or hit that hard? Oh, that's really funny. But yeah, so, uh, that's Omega. And, uh... <laughs> when you're much, much more, uh, leveled up, you should give that a try. I don't know when I'm gonna be able to come back to that. But, uh, you know, I will eventually, one day. Uh, when things are better for my characters. Because also, uh, there's new gear and stuff to get too, right? So, you gotta get, like, the right gear and level up, of course. And spells and stuff. Oh god, they have a reflect. I just nuked Trent. Holy crap! Wow. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Um, okay. Let's raise him. That was just not fair. Damn, these things hit so fucking hard! Oh, damn! 8,400 crit! That is beautiful. I don't know why she shielded it. She's got the ribbon. But, I mean, that's a good thing, too. Yeah, you're, like, next to dead. Oh, he reflected whatever dance! What is that? What is that? How come I've never seen Poe do that? 4698?! Poe?! Why aren't you doing this with your dances? I gotta find out what dance that was. Maybe I'm just not using it. Holy crap. Okay. Let's try this again. Because it's not gonna let you target yourself when something's happening. Okay, raise, and then hopefully they can just kill it. There we go. <clears> hmm. <throat> But yeah, that dance thing, that was pretty cool. Sucks that it reflected. Poor Trent died twice in one friggin' battle. Okay, uh, let's fix this. Oops. Okay. <clears throat> Ugh, I hate when I do that. But you know what it is, what it is. Ooh, he's got like a different colored tent as well, because usually he has like that blue one, I think. Okay, let's see.
and I'm gonna do a safe state, because I know some crazy shit's gonna happen very soon. So now we find this underground castle. It's kind of like abandoned and buried. What is this place? So now we get to see like some past uh, events. Oh, damn. It's an Esper attack. Let loose our espers! This is the site of a thousand year old battle. Lord Odin is the only esper left to us. Has he recovered from his injuries? Does it matter? We have no other choice. We must leave this final battle in Odin's hands. A city destroyed during the War of the Magi. Sentetsuken! Probably butchered that. <laughs> I did my best. No, no, no. A little cheeky there. Oh my god. Impressive. I never thought you would be able to turn me to stone. There's a legend that tells of an ancient battle between the Esper Odin and a powerful ma magus, Magus. It looks. It took place in the great hall of a castle. Okay, we have control of our people again. Let's save state so if I die, I don't have to go through all that. Um. I want to go into this room over here. Armored weapon. I don't like the sounds of that. Launcher. How bad is that gonna be? Ugh, not great. Couldn't steal, okay. Uh, let's do... Pummel, or whatever it's called this night. I always forget. Raging Fist? Whatever it is, it goes through defenses. This is why I use it and his number 8 Bushido, because that also goes through defenses. And I have a feeling this thing is going to have them, since it's an armored weapon. Okay, what will Runic absorb this time? I'm hoping something, because I feel like I've wasted it. <laughs> Should've just healed. Oh, never mind. It wasn't as powerful as I was expecting. Although Maroon did go to town on it, so... <laughs> oh, look at that. He leveled up as well. Okay, um... Wow, she's already at 40 for... <laughs> what, did that... what did that say? Kurg. <laughs> we know it's Kuraga, but you gotta love it. Like... I guess maybe it will change after that 40% goes away, but it's probably going to be called Kurg when I'm playing uh, a battle and have to pick it. Okay, pretty sure this, well not this, a Nighthawk? What the hell is that? Ooh, I don't like the looks of these. Ooh, what are they doing? I'm going to Runic just in case. A Durandal. That's actually a pretty good weapon, I'm pretty sure. Oh. Um, I feel like that's a pretty decent weapon to steal. Um, although I also feel like I could buy it now from Narshi. Either way, um, usually I find these, like, winged warrior women are always a problem. <laughs> yeah, I guess they don't have magic that I can absorb. They just have that kind of magic. I'm just gonna counter and kill him. Okay, let's use Kira. Let's try and kill that first one. 
fatality claw. Ooh! I'm gonna try and attack with him. Oh, uh, never mind. I was gonna say because he's like in his near death state. Maybe I'll get lucky and he'll use like that special thing. Oh god! He's just dead. Forget it. Okay, uh. <laughs> Where is it? Phoenix down. Shamshire. Ooh, that's not good. Really not good. Um. Damn it! Stop doing that. I should have just hit Maroon alone. It would have been smarter. I really need one of these bitches to die. Okay, um, you're just gonna fight. Hopefully, get off a crazy attack for me. Why did the dance effect hit the other one? Holy crap! That dance effect was amazing. Also, I have to say, I'm quite impressed with, um... Oh, damn it. I'm quite impressed with, uh... How often he's getting the dance effects when he just does his regular fights. Uh, there we go. You can drain the shit out of this thing. Actually, I think it's number three? Based on how low your health is? I mean, you're gonna have about 2,000 health, but still, less than half. Ouch! Tiger Slash. Okay. Well, that was a well-deserved friggin' win. Okay, um... That. Now, I'm pretty sure that there's a monster in a box here because you get a pretty good weapon for Maroon out of it, if I remember correctly. Samurai Soul, okay. Eek. Um, try to slow him. That's one benefit um, for Trent, is that... Uh, <clears throat> Even though I hadn't used him in a long time, uh, he still had... Well, I guess you don't have enough MP to even use your Ember, so I don't even know what he was on. Um, <clears throat> he still had learned, like, quite a bit of uh, Espers and magic and shit. <clears throat> so, you know. Um, oops. Having him rejoin the group like this didn't really hurt me in terms of his... Uh, ability to cast spells, more so just hurt me in the fact that he's a little 40. Um, I guess I'll just Libra, because I don't know what is this thing's deal. <laughs> I feel like I should go invisible, but I also feel like things like that shockwave will screw me, and that he has some sort of like flash rain or something. So let's see what he's about. Everybody's got haste. Samurai Soul, 61, 37, 620, weak against poison. Okay. Um. You know, I should actually bug with him. I was just thinking I should blah 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 and get regen and stuff going, but oh, he has no items anyway. Weak against poison. Ooh, is that his thing? That he, like, counters with a physical attack? Hmm. Let's see what you can do with your Bushido number 8. If he does counter, then I'll definitely hit a few people with invisibility so that they just have it. Like, actually, I'm gonna hit Maroon with it. I don't want to hit everybody with it, because if he does something that's, like, pretty bad with magic, and everybody will get hit with it 100%. But if he always counters physically with physical attacks, then he'll just miss his target. Blizzard Fist. Okay, yeah, see, now he's gonna lose his, uh, thing. 
which isn't that big of a deal. Um, I don't even know if I poisoned him, but I'm gonna do it again because it's probably gonna do a lot of damage. Oh, it <laughs> definitely did not. Ooh, I like that. That's from, uh... The Wind Song one? Your skills are impressive, then I shall demonstrate my land's ultimate technique. Okay, what the hell is it gonna be? Oh, scary. Don't know what to do. Oh, he's poisoned, though. Okay, let's see what Bio does, because that's also poison damage. He's weak to... Did he say water, or did he say... No, it said poison. Hmm. You know what? Let's just hit you with a Faraga, unless you're gonna fucking reflect it. I never even thought about that. Or you'll just fucking sword her in the face! Jesus! Wasn't even worth the Faraga, and now she's got, uh... Reflect on her, so I'm kinda like screwed for decent heal. Okay, Gil Toss. Eee. Uh, let's just cure him and have him do the mantra or the chakra. You? What can you do? A whole lot of nothing, really. I mean, this is one spot where, you know, Trent can't really compete with, uh, Draga, because there's nothing to steal from this guy, so now I'm just kind of attacking and relying on uh, the dance effect to trigger. Which, so far, it's been two out of three, so I shouldn't complain. Oh, especially when that kind of stuff happens. Okay, that actually wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. So, 4 AP... Get the offering. Oh, I didn't realize I got that there. Oh. Okay, so that. Did I already have one? Did I? Totally dead. I feel like I should give that to. Uh, Victor, but I also feel like it's kind of better to just leave him with his, uh, Zephyr Cape. Huh. Okay, that really wasn't what I was expecting. Maybe it's the other room. Oops. You gotta be kidding me. Oh my god! What the hell? <laughs> That's totally not cool. Ugh. Alright, well, I guess, uh... Let's see where that saves me. I'm pretty sure that Okay, so I will see you guys after I kill this thing again. <laughs> okay, so I defeated that thing and I'm in front of the other door. Um, something I realized, so we get this uh, Gladius Blade, which is for Trent, and it has, like, holy property, I think. But it doesn't really give me anything except, like, attack power and magic power, and since I'm not doing, like, a magic build with him, I'm not that worried. But I realized that I can't get in and out of this room without running into this fucking, uh, M. Tonberry. So, it's got about 13,000 health, I believe, so I'm just gonna try to kill it as quickly as I possibly can. Because it can be pretty dangerous! Oh, that'll help.
Okay, there we go. It's not too bad if you just go all out at it, but if you take your time powering up and everything, like, it can really screw you over. Oh, not bad. Sloga and Dispel. Which I think she already had Sloga because she learned it. Yup. Which is nice. Um, she's about to learn that. Sure. <laughs> And yeah, you can't steal anything from the Tonberry, so you just kind of gotta fight. Okay, he's still working on Osmos. And I think Blood is the other uh, thing for the other Esper. For Victor, I'm pretty sure. Okay, so I just had to fight some crazy shit that got a back attack on me, so I just... By the time I could finally act, I just, uh, ran away, because, forget that, not gonna waste my time. Okay, um, I don't know if getting close to this thing will cause me to, uh, start anything, so I just wanna, okay, so, one, two, three, four, five, maybe it was here, maybe it's on the stairs. Hell is it? Okay, it's on the stairs. So you can talk to Odin's statue and challenge him to, uh, you know, fight. And if you win, ooh, a pincer attack against the same crap that I was fighting before. Um, but yeah, you can challenge him to fight. And if you win, he'll join you. But there's actually something I want to do first. I don't know if I can get out of this in the middle of the. But we're gonna try. I feel like I can. Yeah, I can't run, but I can do that. Um, let's use up some of these potions. But yeah, there's something I want to do uh, before I go and fight Odin. Is it this? The Princess's Diary. I've fallen in love with Odin. It is a forbidden love, I know, but the flames of passion obey neither rule nor each time I think of that noble man, my heart flutters, and fans the flames yet more. And who could rightly fault it? When the fighting ends, I shall tell him, I must. Okay, that wasn't it. Okay, so I just had to fight two of those Tonberry things, but I uh, got a lot of uh, magic points for it. I don't really care so much about her learning tornado, so can I teach her anything else? Wait, probably not at the moment. Could continue teaching her blood, which is actually what I'm going to do. So, let's remove that. I don't really care about that because his Kiraga isn't going to be as great as his health divided through chakra, but he can learn blink. Okay, and how are you guys? You should be still learning. Yup. Oh, you're almost done. Okay, and I'll just have her... I should actually have him do some healing. So he can just use that ability and get it back. Um, but yeah, is it in here? Ah, this is what I've been looking for. Ugh, okay, so it took me a long time to get this when I first played, um, you know, originally before I started recording, because, you know, I didn't even know it existed and that it was even down here. Um, and I didn't come down to this place for a long time, because when I first tried, I was just so weak. But it's a relic, and it's for Eurus, and it's like a magic perfume with a nice scent, and it gives her prey. Apparently it nullifies, uh, I guess that's darkness. Um, gives her four magic power, which is actually really nice. I'm glad it does that. Um, but yeah, so it's going to turn her runic ability into prey. And it's actually really good. I guess it gets better with stats being increased and stuff. Why can't I find it? What's it called again? Minion's Prayer. There we go. So yeah, I'm not going to take the ribbon off. 
um, it's just too valuable. And therefore, not having a Lunar Curtain on, her magic power will go down a little bit. But that thing gives 7, so I can't really compete with that. But yeah, now she has changed her Runic ability to Prey. And this thing is... Oh, it's amazing. It's so nice. Um, you're going to see me using it because I'm going to go fight Odin now. Okay, so I just decided to use a smoke bomb to get out of that situation. I really didn't want to fight something. Okay. So let's do a save state because I'm dying a lot. <laughs> My name is Odin. Speak, warriors. For what reason do you seek power? To save the world from ruin. Ruin, you say? If you insist on defying fate, then prove your ability to me. Face in battle or exit? Well, we didn't come this far for nothing. My obsidian blade shall split the threads of your future. While its crimson fuller shall while its crimson fuller shall channel the lifeblood of your past. May you savor the bite of my sentence. Okay, I believe that I can do... Oh god! That I can do, um... Invisibility to, like, save myself a little bit. But first... I should have tried to slow. Uh, I hope it works. I really should pray, but I need that haste daga. <laughs> Damn, he hit so hard! Yeah, I'm pretty sure I need to go invisible. Please work. <laughs> oh, thank you! I needed that, because he's, he, he's just hitting so hard, I needed to be slower. Okay, uh... What do I do? What do I do? <laughs> I'm, like, panicking. Okay, um... Let's just leave for him. Mug. Uh, Let's see what the Libra says. Level 83, 40,000 not weak against anything, of course. Um, a show off her prey. Could steal. Uh, let's vanish him. Oh, no! I just wasted my prey and my vanish. Although it hits pretty hard, the prey, for being a simple free heal. About as much as her cure was Okay, so let's just vanish ourselves. Probably should have done this right after the haste saga. Odin is powering up his sword. Okay, see, here is where I think things are going to be a problem. Let's see what happens. I feel like he's going to do some sort of Thing, and it's gonna just take out my invisible characters. I don't want to pray because that should break the invisibility. Sword flash. Oh! Okay, so maybe they just need to stay invisible. Okay, um. Let's haste them and then do I really hope I don't regret this. With some like instant death BS. Yeah, cause see, there's that water. He just shifted. Very subtly, but there was water there now. Oh god, this is probably what's gonna take me out. I can just see it happening. He 
y'all. Oh, okay, so let's try that again. <laughs> So that would be a good time to pray, I guess. Jeez. Okay, that's the thing. Um, leave her the fuck alone. Bring him back to life. Banish yourself. You're so weak though, I'll just have to deal with it. Um, I need to do some damage. Okay. Powering up. Sword. Can I steal something? Of course not. Your Bushido number 8 is just too strong to not use it. Same with the bug, I really want to try and steal whatever we've got. Holy shit! Rounding it up, that was 14k! Oh my god! Oh no! They're all invisible! Well, he isn't, but I can't have just one of them going. Oh god. What do you mean he has no item? Did I already steal it and just not notice it because of the friggin' thing that 14,000 hit? Okay, so... Victor's probably gonna die to the same Tetsu kid, but... Oh, maybe I need Protect on me too? Let's see what happens here. Oh, just instantly killed them all! Well, what the hell? Okay, let's... Try this again. I don't even know, to be honest. Probably just have to come back here where somebody can't be killed with that, but like, oh god. But like, I don't even, ugh, I really don't want to have to do that. I didn't think he'd make that time. Um, okay, great. Just killing everybody. Um, Banish her. Banish uh, him. Because, yeah, I don't think I have any death immunities aside from uh, the memento ring. It'd be nice if she. Ha oh, well, she's got the Kiraga now. And I was right, it's called Kurg. But, whatever. I've beaten him before in my other playthrough, and I wasn't as strong as I am in this one, so... I don't know what I did then that I didn't do this time, but I feel like I could do it. Maybe I just have to get lucky with the, uh... thing. Okay, missed her, missed him, didn't go after Victor. Um... Yeah, see, okay, I knew I should've just hit the prey. This is where if I had three rays, it would be perfect. Um, I also didn't slow him. That was kind of stupid on my part. Okay, will somebody survive this time? Oh, I saw the image of a shield. Oh, thank you, Yuris. I don't normally do this, but I'm safe stating like this is the first time I've done it in this playthrough. But I'm safe stating through that because I cannot. 
Uh-uh, I cannot have her not make it back. Okay, raise hit, because I think it's percentage-based, so... Oh, I probably should have just made her go invisible. That probably would have been better. Yeah, see, that's what I needed to do, and that's why I saved me, because that was purely luck that I didn't get killed there, so I, I just have to take advantage of it. What the fuck? <laughs> Did casting vanish change his pattern? Okay, survive this time, put a slow on him. The problem is, why does she have Regen? I didn't cast it on her. Whatever, I'll take it. The problem is, I'm probably gonna waste this spell, because he'll- Oh no, he'll go after her. Okay, good. So hopefully I can get him up and invisible. <laughs> There's no way I'm gonna be able to- Ooh, 37.58. That's a huge difference from her regular Kira. Of course it is Kiraga. Odin is powering up his sword. Okay, yeah, you do that. Um, she's also got to... Uh, the Osmos. Some, uh... Some feedback. Assuming he has some. I think the Libra before said that he did. Um, so let's just try that. <laughs> wonder if I should have tried poisoning him. Okay, so she got about 200. I feel bad that I'm just leaving Trent dead. Actually, I should bring him back just so that for the Zentetsuken, I have one more person who might make it through. Um, I don't think I'd need a Kuraga for him. Oh, well, I would if uh, he was still alive. I doubt he'll make it in time, so I'm not even going to try. Yeah, I think he wouldn't make it in time. <clears throat> Better off to use his Bushido. Let's face it, he's the one doing most of the damage here. Um, Phoenix down him again, and let's just vanish him. Ooh, I almost cast it on myself. Herself. Oh, what is that? Oh, you just throw it. Oh, that's not good. It's gonna work. But she's got ribbon, so okay, that's not so bad. That is. Oh shit! 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 Get the prey off and break everybody's invisibility. Oh god. Or just kill him! That would work too! Nope. One. Oh yeah, because the water. Okay. Come on, Eurus. Use that shield. Oh, I'm so scared. I don't see it. <gasps> yes! I see it! Okay, let's do the trick again, because fuck that. Oh god. Totally not fair. Oh, damn it. Oh, my heart is pumping. <laughs> oh, I was even thinking, like, should I be really cheap and, like, say, okay, is he fast again? 
not gonna cut it. I need to slow him. But I was thinking, like, do I want to be really cheap and, like, save before he uses it? But no. That, like, that's a little too much, in my opinion. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's bring back Maroon. No! Well, actually, she's got the ribbon, so whatever. She just won't be invisible. Oh, please, both of you get it off before he does his thing. Oh, damn it, he's gonna go insane again! Shit! I should've just done the thing with his Bushido. This is a problem. Because, oh god. No! Oh, I don't see the shield. But he survived! Okay, please, just kill him. I don't remember how much health he has, but you've been doing like... Fuck, like 9,000. Every time. Come on. Oh, this is not good. No! Okay, forget that. Going back there. Okay, so... Oh. Let's... See, the... You know what? The potion, or the Phoenix Down would be quicker. So I might get that and some other shit off quicker than it race, Because it should do about the same as it that. I think I need to slow him again, too, so if I do, I'll just open up the other save state. Yeah, I totally do. He's moving too fast again. So vanish yourself. Slow him. Oh, I wonder if he's susceptible to stop. Probably isn't, but uh, if I get desperate enough, I'll give that a shot. I'm actually curious how much life he has left. Although, Maroon did get off, like, I feel like two of the Bushidos, so... I've got enough that I can't just finish him off with Eurus. Oh, god. Oh, it didn't go after her. Is that gonna hit him? Of course it's gonna hit him. Why wouldn't it? Okay, let's bring him back as well. And you know what, let's just do that too. We'll go all out. Great, he's back already. Prey, item, gold needle. And I guess the damage I could do when he's got the water up doesn't really matter. Okay, Trent. This is crap. <laughs> Still don't understand how she has regen on her. Maybe it's from the maiden's thing. Okay, that sucks. Because he's gonna be doing the friggin' uh Zenfetsu. Yeah, what the hell? Everybody, I'm, when I just wasted it on myself. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna start again. And I'm gonna cut a lot of this out so that you guys don't have to keep me punished. So I'll see you in a moment. Okay, so I'm getting close to killing him. If I can just get off what I need to get off. I want Victor alive for this. I don't know if it's gonna work. Oh, that's okay. <clears throat> It took me a lot longer than I wanted to take, and I definitely had to cheat a little bit more and use more save states than I liked. Um, especially because, like, I was just being stubborn. Holy crap, 12. 
I was just being really stubborn and not like using them before the Zen Tetsuken. Learned Raise, learned Death. Why did you learn Death? What were you equipped with? An impressive victory. I shall entrust my power to you, fine warriors. Oh, that took so much of my energy. Like, my energy, not my characters, like me. <laughs> Now we have the Odin Magisite. Oh, that was definitely well deserved. Okay, let's get a gold needle and heal up with that Kiraga. Boom. Interesting that it. Oh, I guess she was already full life, so it didn't hit her. But I was gonna say, interesting that it didn't break her. Okay, let's see what Odin gives us. Instantly kills all enemies, and he teaches us Hestaga and Mateo. Activates two to four times, ignores defense. Hestaga at a rate of three. Who's teaching it to us? Four. Who was teaching? Actually, I don't think anybody was. I think I just naturally learned it. Okay, so that's good. Now I have that. I can spread the love. Okay, definitely save stating. Because I don't feel like there's anything in these. But probably over here? Alright, had to fight another one of those Tomberry things, and they killed poor Trent. They hit him with that all grudge, and it has a chance to actually, like, one-shot kill, so... That happened. Okay, I don't think there's anything in this room after all. Use another smoke bomb to get away from people who got a back attack on me somehow. Not cool. I would have fought them if they didn't get a back attack. Ooh, I feel like there's something important there. Treasure store room. One of the twelve sealed weapons, Soul Eater. It seems you can't take it because it has been sealed away. Oh yeah, so that's a cool thing. Um, God Hand, seems so you can't take it sealed away. So yeah, like, uh, the T edition apparently has the twelve legendary weapons. Excalibur. So that's actually really cool. You can, like, I guess unlock these or something if you figure that out probably require certain things to be done, or, you know, certain requirements to be met. Oh, God, I have to fight this thing from behind. I have to fight two of them? Oh, this is gonna be a pain, but... Okay, um... Let's just get your Bushido going. I really wish you bastard could stop hitting with that, because it has that chance to kill. Can't steal anything, but let's see if I can get the dancing blade trigger. I know the numbers were there fast, but uh, at least uh, Victor and Maroon can still do the same damage from the back row with what I'm using. I don't know why they keep getting closer like that, but I'm Tom Berries. But yeah, Prey just super overpowered. I'm actually surprised I didn't use it more often in the Odin fight. Although, I did need to be invisible for most of it. Oh, good. One of them's finally dead. Oh, good. Decent amount of damage in the front row for her. She's usually in the back row, so... Don't usually swing her sword too often. Ooh, and she learned Flood from this. Okay, so I think she's actually done with that Esper now. So let's go give her Mateo. Yeah, 
however you want to pronounce it. Um, okay, so I do want to go further downstairs, I believe. Just using more smoke bombs, because shit is just not cool in this place. I also keep running into these, like, soldier things with that winged woman, and I do not want to fight them together. Okay, so there's that dragon. Go away, go a different direction than me. More smoke bombs, but let's just heal up. How much does that cost here? 46 at half cost. That's still pretty steep. Even the princess was turned to stone. From the stone, is that a tear? The princess's tear transforms into a sword, and we obtained the Zen Tetsuken. Which is actually really cool because in the original version, when you go and do this, uh, it turns Odin into Raiden, I believe, or Raiden into Odin. Either way, it changes your Esper. Knight sword wielded by Odin. Chance for Zen Tetsuken. And the Ra and Ooh, Maroon can equip this. Five power and stamina. Let's see how good this will be for him. Oh, ho, 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 ho. although you got to keep in mind that's also because he's got the amulet or whatever that gives him like the two-handed ability. But still, this is going to be something. <clears throat> okay. Um, but yeah, in the original version, you go talk to the stone princess, and... Can I warp out of here? Probably not. And, uh, you end up, um, changing the answer. I ran into two more of those stupid Tongari things, but, um, yeah, Maroon was hitting, like, crazy freaking hard. Um, and I wasn't even using the... He was just, like, at one point he crit for, like, 7,000, which is a regular attack. Let's see if I can show you something. Mm, I don't really like fighting these ones combined. Ooh, and it's a preemptive strike, so I don't have to. That's usually what I'm using my smoke bombs to get away from. Um, okay, I actually just realized I didn't... Let's quickly do that. Eh, I kinda don't care what you're learning that. But there really isn't much else for you to learn. So let's get you Kiraga. You can keep working on Blink. You're on Odin, and you should be done here. I guess you're learning Slow Guy and Blood. Oh, and I probably need to heal. Heal just a bit. So I don't think there's really anything for me to do here anymore. I think I just need to leave. But one thing I wanted to show was... Um, look at what Maroon's weapon looks like now that... Uh, we've equipped this new... Tetsuken. It's so sick looking. Oh, look at it! Like, red and fucking crazy. And yeah, I'm definitely probably gonna make a lot of money selling these Durandals. I didn't even look to see what they did when I first started stealing them. There we go. Not so bad. Um, where is it hiding? It wasn't new, was it? Oh, it totally was. Holy Night Sword said to have been forged by Faze, and only Lo Ra can use it, so definitely don't need more than one, and actually I do remember being able to buy this, just that I wasn't buying it because I wasn't really 
losing her, and it didn't really boost magic all that much. So can I teleport out of here then? Probably not. Yeah, which means I'm just gonna have to run all the way back out, but honestly there isn't anything else for me to do down here except, well actually that's not true, I should go and get those treasure chests and just show you guys what's in them while I go get them quick. So I'll cut out going to them, um, but the only other thing for me to do is just leave. So rather than running there and cutting out the fights and all that stuff, I'll just cut out getting there and show you what I get. So I'll be right back. So there's just this treasure chest to the left of the stairs that we were just at. Also to the left of the Omega. You can see him over there trying to come over to me. I'm going to run away before he connects. Oh my god! Uh! Okay, I'll see you at the next treasure chest. <laughs> Alright, and then we're just at this one here. Just kind of in the middle of that uh, middle room. And we get a Tyrandal. And see you at the next one. So, this treasure chest is a monster in a box, and I did do a little bit of testing. I cannot defeat it. It's a Tonberry King. And I'm just gonna show you. Uh. It's Libra. And then also. Maybe I'll get lucky. I don't think it has any steel. But then I'll. I'll I guess. Eh, again, I'll let it kill me like I did. Uh something else the Omega earlier um, because this thing just hits so hard and I couldn't slow it and all that fun stuff thankfully yours takes no damage to that but um, yeah it's not an easy kill it's not even like a tough kill like I had a really hard time with Odin but like it was possible with Odin this guy nope like look at that one shot my highest health person <laughs> Crazy if Odin actually killed it though, but I doubt it will. I don't see why it would be susceptible to an instant death attack. Zoom! Yeah, definitely not gonna work. It's funny because it's taking a while to actually kill me this time. It looks like I could have given this a better try, but definitely not. Yeah, see there's another one. Just fucking one shot her and she was in the back row. Huge cleaver. And whatever his barrier change is, he keeps absorbing that second claw. And then he's dead. Okay, so I'm gonna just go back and I'll see you guys at the next treasure chest. Okay, and then we're at this last treasure chest here, which is just in the first room, and we get a high ether. But, um, walking up here, Victor and a couple other people leveled, and I actually want to show something, because Victor learned a new blitz. But it's actually like a new blitz. It's not the one where he like sacrifices himself and does crazy damage or like heals his teammates or whatever the hell it is. Um, it's called Tiger Rush and it says it's a three hit strike. Also, the Zentetsuken can definitely be really nice on the right person like Maroon who just obliterated that thing with one hit because of the effect. But yeah, here's that new blitz. And I really like that it divides, like, instead of just hitting the same one. Or that, you know, all three could go to the same one. So I thought that was really cool. Um, it's just R, L, X, Y, right, left. Um, which is probably similar to the original version's uh, seventh blitz, but this one's cooler in my opinion. I used to always hate when you would send uh, Sabin into the, like, or in my case, Victor, but Sabin into the arena, and he would just do that, like, send him into the Coliseum arena, and he would just do that stupid blitz, and then you'd be like, you friggin' idiot, like, thanks for wasting my item, I just lost that because of you, suiciding yourself, 
Oy. But yeah, so like I said, I, there really isn't anything else for me to do in this episode down there. I mean, I could probably go back. Well, I will have to go back now that I think about it. <clears throat> At some point, because I'm going to want to defeat that Omega weapon. It's going to be important because uh, reading through some of the stuff that I've seen on here, um, eventually you do need to kill it and other things that are like new and crazy difficult and <laughs> you gotta like revisit but yeah thank you guys so much for watching i'm sorry this is such a long episode compared to the usual time um you know i've cut down a bunch of stuff for fights and stuff but there was just it's just a deep underground castle and you have to go through it and it's it's got like its own whole story there so it's just gonna take a little bit longer but yeah i'm really digging uh trent's like what is it the returner yeah the returner music i really like it i mean the second one the night music was a lot better in my opinion but this one's still pretty good but anyway thank you guys so much for watching hope you have a great day i hope you enjoyed and hopefully we'll see you in the next one. But thanks again, and have a great day.